is Minions, I'm Empress Red, and this is the M3 Radio Independent News. When oil futures hit $136 a barrel, I did the math. There are 42 gallons in a barrel from which we produce 19.2 gallons of gas. Before factoring in refining, shipping, taxes, and markups, that makes gas $7.09 a gallon. If it costs $4 a gallon to fill your car, now it's going to cost much more in the near future. Because without a doubt, we'll soon be looking back at today's prices as being the good old days. So what's the reality of today's oil prices? Gas costs jumped 144% in just a few years. Farmers in Tennessee have gone back to using mules to plow land instead of tractors. Airlines now charge for checked bags. Some gas pumps can't be recalibrated to handle these prices. Oil companies are reporting record profits. But at least people drive their cars less. So there's one silver lining to this costly cloud. Since the courts forced the White House to release a report on global warming due four years ago, Congress must now legislate laws to deal with it. Sources say the debate is being driven more by economic consideration than by concern for life on our planet. When the air we breathe, water we drink, and our health are less important than money, then only the rich will survive. Here's an Empress Red investment tip. It's too late to get in on the oil boom, so the commodity of the future is water. We can't live without it, we're running out of it, and I predict he who controls the H2O rules the world. What tipped me off? The court ordered report from the Bush White House on global warming. Read it and weep, my minions. Your tears may be all you'll have left to drink one day. Call them the thong thieves. Two crooks in Colorado robbed a convenience store of cash and sinks and hid their identities by wearing thong underwear on their heads. While the partial panties barely disguised the criminals and left most of their faces uncovered, witnesses only recalled two details. One's mask was red and the other was blue. It's no whale tale when I tell you boys, that's why we girls wear them. A woman was arrested for living in a man's closet for over a year. The gullible guy had noticed food missing for a while and called cops to investigate. Police found a homeless woman who confessed to hiding in the unused area for the past 12 months. When he was at work, she'd sneak showers and food. Don't get me thong, I mean wrong. Guess a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. A former White House press secretary blew the whistle on his ex-boss. In a recently released book, he reveals the selling of the Iraq war by our president was based more on propaganda than fact. GWB's new press sec labeled the old press sec as a liberal liar. Sadly, most of our country was more interested in the latest episode of American Idol than world news, so few seem to even care. Wake up, America. The dream is over. We've been slowly stripped of our rights and effed out of our freedoms by a few rich, powerful, and politically connected criminals who run our country. During my broadcast, I often feel like Juliet at night on her balcony crying, Oh, America, America, wherefore art thou, America? For if it's in a name, my minions, I'm Empress Red, and I just gave you my hot load of love and the M3 Radio Independent News. Sayonara, bitches.